Beaver. Beaver. Oh, got him. Oh. Wow, that was a hard hit. That, my friends, was how they hit it. I'm going to hit it good. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the show. We are fishing with BFS poppers. They're not really BFS poppers. No such thing. But we're fishing with very small ultralight style poppers with BFS gear. And it's going to be a heck of a we're show. We're comparing the three different brands and styles, basically, of topwater baits I got off AliExpress. Uh, this one's already proven itself. This is one I still recommend, but we're going to kind of give these others a chance to see if they are any good or not also. If you don't know about this thing, check out my other videos. The Sonora, 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 T Sonora, whatever you call it. Uh, three gram popper off AliExpress. Uh, $3.98 is the price. Very awesome popper. But I also picked up these, I call them Nobis, Neobis, whatever you pronounce that. I think that's two or two and a half gram poppers. Just got the one hook in the back, doesn't have the uh, tail. And then I also got these around the same time as I did the Snora ones. And that is a Banshee. So I've got these baits rigged up on my three Tetan rods in more natural colors because uh, I already did catch you guys a probably watched the footage before I started this video here I think I caught one little bitty one I caught a decent little chunker bass nice hard hit on this one I uh, just now put on a banshee but more natural colors is what I'm thinking of work something's working right there in front of us but so buckle up hang on that sun's getting ready to pop up and we're gonna be out of uh, top water time but we're gonna see how well these baits do and I'll start with the real little one. Let's just throw you guys. Let's jump up. Let's jump up. Jump up. Buckle up. This Hang on. This water BFS shootout starts now. But we're going to see what this little popper will do. 522 SUL Kang Tetan. The Metanium with KTF Shallow Spool. Pretty much capable of throwing anything you'll want to throw BFS. I don't know how far down it goes. Two grams, it'll throw. Sixteenth ounce, two grams, it'll throw. Yeah, these little baits, they don't set like level. They, they kind of are off kilter. They're a little set kind of laying sideways. I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing. I just something I noticed. To look and see. I don't think mother baits do that. Main thing is if they catch fish or not, right? If they catch fish, we don't care how they set. I do like this little, it kind of has an erect. Got him. I was getting ready to say, it has an erratic action, so they should like that. Oh, yes. Jesus, he jumped into all my other rods. That is a battle. That works. Let's see if I can get him in. See how well that little hook holds him. Look at that fish. That is a pound and a half, maybe. Whoa! Hook has still got him. Still got him. Still got him. Mwah. Well... What do you think? I think we got a winner with this little bait. Yeah, actually, wow. Them hooks got him good. That was a that was pretty cool. I figured the natural that other color didn't work as good. I can't remember the name of this color, but the white belly kind of a bat I, I it kind of looks like a baby bass to me. That's why I picked it out. Mwah. Nice bass. I'm gonna jump right to I'm gonna call that a winner. I'm going to call that one good. I'm going to jump to this one we haven't tried yet before the sun pops out because the sun's coming out and uh, see if we can do any good with it. Okay, one last little look. Let's see if this thing will jump. I think it's going to be a jumper. It's pretty feisty. Come on. Come on. 
yes that in my book that counts as a jumper let's go we're on fire got crazy little poppers working I should probably stick with that one if it is working but I just want to see this is the only one honestly I couldn't tell you where'd you guys go get over here and get shot I don't think I've even thrown this guy this one yet maybe I have I don't know it's got a little nick in it in the paint already but uh, the one works so good right off the bat the snore give it a I'm saying that wrong it's not snore like snoring snora worked so good out of the gate that why is that thing not floating I didn't mess with any of the other ones well I just got the other one in oh there's a little something right there but what I liked about that little bitty Niobe is not only does it, it doesn't just like walk the dog it kind of jumps around and darts Kind of like a little surface darter in a way. And that's what that bass there definitely liked. That very erratic action. And the good thing about the hooks on it. It's just got that single hook in the back. Is that it won't get caught. You know you kind of do a little more erratic twitching action. Without the front hook getting caught up in the line. Which will happen with a lot of poppers in general. I've already put, I'm going to get more of the, uh, snor whoa, that thing just set and caught him, but, I mean, it's a popper, it works, but I'm not going to order any more of these, the Banshees, because they are cheap, though, if you guys just want a cheap popper that, you you know, it will catch him, that's a big old, uh, bluegill, as you can see, it works, but, I like, what was that up there, come on, Follow me. Something's up here working. Uh, I like the tail feathers on the end, and so for the little extra money, and you ain't got to mess with making tail feather. Now, if you like doing that, I, I don't. Oh, that was a hit. I don't mind it, but it, you know, if I can already get a bait that's already got it set up, and they just seem like they're a little better quality, better paint job, that kind of thing. Uh oh, we are on a bike. Small mouth bass. Oh wait, I'm losing my mind. That's large mouth. He is. Got that thing all the way in his mouth. There we go. That is a beautiful little bass. Mmm, Spider-Man kiss. Ain't kissing you. He's a jumper. So, just here, in like 10 minutes, I've already done, video done. All these poppers work. And you can see I'm throwing this. This is the uh, PW100. I think this, the I want to say the Banshee is a five and a half grams. Five and a half. Uh, three and a half. I think that's where I was getting mixed up. I think the Sonora. Sonora is three. This is three and a half and the two and a half on the other one. So they're kind of staggered. But they're so close in the size. I think you're going to catch roughly the same size fish. But this one. It seems to work. The hook seems pretty good right out of the box. I don't know what are the odds of... Oh! I wasn't even looking at that. What are the odds of catching a big monster? I'm seeing how well it does, but... It seems to have no issue... As you can see... Hooking these little guys well enough to get them to the boat. And as you can tell, I don't put a lot of effort into just making sure they don't come off. I just like the fight. He's a jumper. But you guys tell me, what do you think? I mean, they work. That's the PW100. This is 661. I'm also going to be looking forward, I'm putting a video out on which rods I recommend out of the Kayings. I think they cover all your BFS needs. Kayings, I mean, yeah, you can get more expensive rods that may be a little touch more sensitive or whatever. I fish with braid. I'm a BFS, well, all my bait casting gear. I fish only bait casting gear. That's why I fish BFS stuff. And for BFS fishing, I don't feel I need any other rod. I got one coming just to try out. Uh, lure killer because it was only like 28 bucks 
but it's hard to beat the Kang Tetons for $50 rods that just flat out work. The durability is great. They're not like the Conquerors or their $100, $120, $140 rods that actually durability is not as good. Oh, he's over the... That fish is over the log. You guys see that fish over the log? I'm trying to work him out. What I was saying, get out of there. <laughs> Look at that. That, my friends, those hooks, this bait's legit. I probably, I kind of dogged it just because I got the snore. I keep saying snore. It sounds like snora. That sounds stupid, but oh well. And, uh, kind of just had that one shuffled to the back but it's probably just as good and i think it's a cheaper by a couple bucks mm, that's a good looking bass these bass out of here now i know i'm partial this is my home waters but those look gorgeous i just caught my first smallmouth yesterday and i mean it's a beautiful fish but these bass that color just looks cool one last look beautiful large mouth bass i'm gonna kiss this one for like mwah. Mmm, love me some largies. Let's go. Love me a smallie too. Come on. Look at that beautiful fish. The sun just starting to pop out. Come on. Here comes the sun and I say, it's all right. Do 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 You non-jumping. All right, buckle up, hang on again. You know what time it is? It's time. We got one more. One more bait, because I need one more picture for Instagram and for uh, BFS. Page that I'm on. We're going to catch one on this bait. Now, I guess I should mention... I guess I should mention that is not the BFS XG. That is just an Aldebaran 50. It's not the MGL. But we're gonna use it to cast this little three gram popper. Catch one more fish to put an end to this little shootout video and determine what we pretty much already know that all these little bitty poppers are awesome little baits to fool these bass into thinking that they're a, a bug, a little bitty fish or whatever. And like right now, this time of year is a perfect time that midsummer, everything spawned. There's little babies everywhere. There's bugs jumping in the water. So it's kind of like a match the hatch thing. That's what they're feeding on, roughly the size. So all we have to do now, though, for this video, and as you can tell, the uh, 50 seems to not have any issues with casting this uh, three gram bait. See if I can get another one over there. Oh, I got one too. Oh, I yanked him completely over it. Oh my goodness. Oh my, oh my. Now these, as me and Charles started fishing more, that's what I've always called green ears. But there's also some, uh, I guess you can have, which was supposedly put in here a long time ago. What is all that movement? Did I do that? Uh, hybrid bluegill that are like a bluegill and a green ear and then there's your bluegill and your green ears. I think that's just a green ear. Anyway, back to the test. There we go. There we go. Finally a bass. Not that big, but he's good enough to end this show. All right, I know he's not a true showstopper, but he's gonna end this show. Let me know what you guys think about the poppers. I honestly, I think any of them will work when it's, uh, especially like now. I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna keep using them throughout the day, but I'm gonna try other stuff. But then if I get in the spot where I think they'll work, these little poppers tend to work throughout the day when they're every see stuff hitting like on bugs, and you're always like, oh, I need to get in there and get those. So the little poppers are legit. Let's see if this guy's gonna jump. Come on. Come on, you little dog. 
Get you, get you out there and get you some of that. Yes, you did. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, help share the channel. Bass and Bonsai, coming to a honey hole near you. Get out of here, go bass and bonsai for yourself, and thank you for watching, guys. Let me know what you think about these little poppers.